A dozen pet rabbits are now safe after being rescued from a park in Wilbraham. Western Mass News reporter Addie Patterson has more about the ongoing bunny homelessness crisis and how you can help make a difference. What started off as a regular walk in Fountain Park for Wilbraham resident Maureen Callahan ended with a shocking discovery. A group of 12 lop-eared pet bunnies had been dumped and left outside in the cold. Frightened and concerned, Callahan immediately shared photos and posted about the incident on social media. Quickly, the community hopped in and put her in touch with the Connecticut-based nonprofit Every Bunny Counts Rabbit Rabbit. Rescue. The group's president, Becky Bernando, says ever since the pandemic, occurrences like these are common. Before COVID, the majority of our intakes were owner surrenders or like uh, cases from municipal animal controls. Um, in the last several years, it has widely shifted to dumped rabbits. Bernardo says dumping rabbits outside is illegal in both Massachusetts and Connecticut. And Wilbraham Animal Control says a police officer initially responded to the call. However, Bernardo says that doesn't stop people from doing it. That's why rescue organizations like Everybody Counts are vital. It is actually a massive problem and it has only gotten worse um, since the COVID years uh, with people bringing in animals to their home and then realizing they don't have time for them. Bernardo tells Western Mass News not only is there a rabbit homelessness crisis here in New England, but there's one all across the country, something she mainly attributes to uninformed pet owners. I think I see wild rabbits outside, then my pet rabbit can live outside. They actually don't even have the same number of chromosomes. They don't have the survival skills um, to be out there. If you truly cannot hold on to your pet any longer, there are plenty of resources and shelters available to keep domestic animals from being left outside. For a list of those resources or to learn more about Everybody Counts and how you can help, head on over to our website, westernmassnews.com. For now, reporting in Wolverham, Addie Patterson, Western Mass News.